Hello students, welcome to our today's online session. Hope all are safe at home. In our previous classes, we were discussing some lessons from our textbooks. Today we are going to discuss something from our writing session. And this year, in your writing session, you have to study letter writing that we have already studied, right? So, in your previous classes, you have studied two types of letters. One is formal letter and the other one is informal letter. So, what is the difference between formal letter and an informal letter? Formal letter is a letter that we write to a higher authority, to a person in a position or to an official. That is formal letter. And formal letter can include any letter written to a, a principal, to a police inspector, letter to the editor. When you are placing order for some commodity, that is also a formal letter. When you are inquiring about some information, that is also a formal letter. When you are complaining about some commodity that you bought or when you are complaining about some uh, services that you didn't get properly, all these comes under formal letter. So a formal letter is a letter that you formally write to an authority, to an official or to a person in a position. That is a formal letter. Then what is informal letter? Informal letter is a letter that you write to your friends, your parents, your relatives, your acquaintance in a friendly manner. That is called a informal letter. Both these letters you have studied in your previous classes. So let's brush up some of your memories. So this year you have to study formal letter. Then what is a formal letter's format? Formal letter has a specific format. What is a format? First of all, you have to write the sender's address from address. Then you will write the date. After the date, you write the two address. Then you are supposed to write the subject. What is the subject topic of the letter? Then you will write the salutation. Then you will write the content in minimum three paragraphs. Thereafter, you will write the subscription, yours sincerely, yours truly, yours respectfully, all these things. Then you will write, you will give the signature of the person who wrote the letter. So this is the format of a formal letter. All these things will be aligned in the margin side of your paper. Remember, all these things, whatever we said, will be aligned in the margin side of your paper. You might have learned something else in your previous classes. Forget all those things. This is what you have to remember. All these things should be aligned in the margin side of your answer sheet or your notebook. So first of all, you have to write from address. Remember not to write the sender's name in the from address. Write the address of the sender which is given in the question. So you write the address of the sender which is given in the question on the top of the page aligned to the margin side. Then leave a line and write the date. Especially the date of that particular examination. The day of date of the examination should be written over there unless and until if a date is not given in the question. Then leave a line and write the two address. There you have to address the person in position. That means if you are writing a letter to the principal, you have to write the principal. If you are writing a letter to the police inspector, you have to write the inspector. If you are writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper, you have to write the editor. Or if you are writing a letter to the uh, CEO or some other person in a position you have to write the then that position then you write the address given in the question after that you write the subject in four or five words along that means need not be a complete sentence thereafter you have to write the salutation you can write so Madam slash sir or madam as the salutation of a formal letter. Then you'll write the content. Minimum three paragraph. 
first paragraph addressing why you are writing the problem why you are writing the letter so you will be addressing the problem over there if it's a problem whatever it is the problem the question whatever is the question should be addressed over there in the first paragraph second paragraph what are the causes consequences advantages disadvantages merits demerits all these things should come in the second paragraph third paragraph should be the conclusion of the letter that means uh, some suggestions some solution what is your demand all these you if uh, you need to give your contact details all these things should come in the last paragraph then subscription yours sincerely yours truly yours respectfully avoid yours faithfully then you write the sender's name over there this is the place where we write the sender's name not in the sender's address then the sender's designation if you are writing from some position you have to give the sender's designation over there so this is how you have to write a letter the format should be pure pure clear from address without sender's name to means date then to address with the position of the person to whom you are addressing the letter to then the subject within 5 6 words it need not be a lengthy sentence then salutation sir madam or sir or madam then the content in minimum 3 paragraph first paragraph addressing the problem or whatever you are writing this letter for second problem second paragraph what is the cause consequences advantage disadvantage merit demerit whatever that means a uh, explanation of the whole problem the explanation of the topic that you are addressing over there in the uh, letter should come in the second paragraph third paragraph you could conclude the letter in the third paragraph with some suggestion with some solution with your contact details with your demands all these things can be included in the third paragraph then you write this uh, subscription yours sincerely yours truly yours respectfully avoid yours faithfully then write the sender's name in upper case in capital letter then the designation too so this is what our formal letter is so remember to complete the letter with all these things in your letter do not forget to write any of these things because you lose one mark over there even if you forget to write the date or the subject one mark for the format of the letter so remember to write all these things to include all these things while you write a formal letter some examples are given over there with along with the notes go through it and attend the test today itself till we meet in our next class next session take care bye bye